Go ahead. Hey guys, it's Logan with Goo Gaming, and I got top eight with Rescue Ace. You know, I did the poll on Twitter, and uh, I said, what deck should I play for the regional? And you guys decided Rescue Ace, so that's what I played. I ended up getting third place. Uh, my only loss was to this man right here playing Fish. You and me, best deck, man. <laughs> I got fucked up by Fish. Uh, evenly matched, Lightning Storm, all that stuff just destroyed me. But other than that, this deck's really good. Um, a lot of other Rescue Ace lists I've seen have been playing like 50, 60 cards, and I, I'm not about that. This is a 43 card list. I tried to cut the fat down as much as possible. So let's go get into the deck. Uh, we play three Hydrant. Um, the reason you play three now is because it's a one card combo because of the Fiendsmith engine. Uh, this card's super good. It tra like if you draw any like the alerts, the rescue, stuff like that, if you open this card, it makes them way better. So you definitely want to max out on this. Uh, one copy of Airlifter. Uh, if you draw him, you're so happy. <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh, two Preventer and one Turbulence. So uh, it used to be 2-2, two, two, um, but with Fiendsmith, and like Beatrice and stuff, you have so many ways to actually access the Turbulence. Um, you don't actually need three. And if you're like really good at resource management, because like I played this deck a lot, like you can always recycle this and reuse it. So you really don't need the, the second one, like ever. Uh, the best card, three Impulse and a Fire Engine. Um, summoning bodies right now on your opponent's first turn is super powerful uh, because of the Fiendsmith cards. And like this card replacing itself, giving you two bodies and giving you a starter is like super strong. And a lot of times I was adding rescue off of this or I was going like uh, fire engine, summon airlifter at rescue because I would rescue back impulse and impulse would get rid of a threat on their board. And then if they chain to try to get rid of impulse, I would get it out and then I could summon like whatever monster I needed at the time, whether it's turbulence or hydrant or whatever. So this package was super strong, super good. Um, and then that's all the Rescue Ace monsters. I don't play anymore. Uh, super super small. Uh, now I play one Rota and one One for One. Uh, one for One was my 43rd card. I was at 42 with three more hand traps. I was at 45 with three more hand traps. I cut three of the hand traps because I wanted to get close to 40 as possible. And then I just added the One for One because I wanted an additional extender because it can also get to Lurie in the deck, which you'll see later. Uh, see later. Uh, three Emergency, best card, and then the cards everyone hates to draw. Uh, including the HQ. So three emergency, uh, contain, extinguish, alert, rescue, and then HQ. Uh, you have to play this in your deck, I think, because if they out your turn one board and you do get in the grind game, you beat every deck in the grind game just by playing this card in your deck, even though it is a brick, so. I wouldn't change any of the numbers of that. I don't play Reinforce. Uh, I'm not trying to try it out because it is a pretty good card, but I didn't play it today, so. Uh, three wanted and then one witch. That seems super weird. But um, this is actually the worst extender going second. Um, and also, like with me playing three hydrant, it's like super redundant because it only actually gets to hydrant. And also, like a lot of the times it's just not needed. And going into a board, you don't really want to discard a card. But like the engine still helps you with consistency, so you don't want to play it in the OSS. Um, I don't play Poplar or Bonfire, and the reason for that is Droll. Uh, Droll's like super popular, especially at the regional level. And also, like, you want your cards to do different things. So, like, I don't want to draw five ways to OSS. I only want to draw one way to OSS and then other ways to play. So, the best engine. This this engine's so good in this deck. Three Fiendsmith, uh, Attract, and Lurie. I think this engine is, like, insane in this deck. I think the only thing that's better, like, it, this engine's better in your bell. But other than that, this is, like, the second best deck, I think, with this engine. That I've played, at least. Like, this engine, like, does so much for the deck. Uh, allows you to Beatrice dump turb, it, uh, it beats Droll, it, it's so good. And like if you see in my extra deck, it makes it even better. Uh, then Hand Traps, three Ash Blossom, three Valor, three Imperm, and then the three Bestials. So it's only 12 with the three Impulse. And you might say that, oh, Impulse isn't a Hand Trap, it is, it's a going second card, but also it gets you to Engine. But if you pair it with one of these, you're trying to make their board weak, and then like where you get multiple bodies on your turn, especially with like the Bestials or like this, you can start with your turn with like two, three bodies plus a starter on your board. So you can just like out their board, like even if they do like make Apo and all this different stuff. That's the main deck, 43. And then the extra deck, the extra deck's pretty, pretty slim. Um, Relinquish, Anima, and IP. You need Anima for the one card Hydrant combo, so. IP, mainly make this against Tenpai, SP of course, Hida, um, Sunlight Wolf, this card's broken. There's multiple times where I would make 
this in my combo. And one game I summon and then uh, I summoned it and then summoned something underneath and I dumped this and then added added impulse back and then on my opponent's turn I like um, like had an IP and then uh, on my opponent's turn when I used IP effect I chained this and added Ash Blossom. So like this card allowed me to add like two hand traps almost. It was really crazy. Uh, so Beatrice obviously for the Fiend's Fest stuff. Uh, Princess, Apo, um, and then I play Moon, Sequence, but those are standard, Requiem, Lacrima, Desiree, uh, and then I decided to play the Necker Equip and the M7. I think this deck, like, you can get to two bodies so easily that, like, this is so, this is so powerful in this deck, and it came up so many times um, because, like, they try to stop you from getting the Turbulence, and this, like, any two monsters is completely full combo. So just by playing these in your deck, and if they stop me from getting a Turbulence, and then I still can overlay two monsters and then make this, it's just game. Like, I just full combo. So that's the extra deck. Side deck. Three Mole Chummy. This card's broken. I wanted to main it, but I was afraid there'd be too much Tenpai, so I didn't. Shout out the boy. Three Nib. Uh, I decided to side this and main the Bestials because I felt like there'd be more Ubel. Uh, this deck has a pretty, like a really, really good Ubel matchup. So I wanted to make it even better, and it was like one of the most played decks. So that was really good. Uh, two Ghost Ogre. Um, I, just, I saw a lot of people playing it at the White so I just really wanted to try it out. Uh, I didn't draw it, so I have no opinion on this card, like at all. Uh, three Cosmics for the Floodgate decks. Um, two Talents. Uh, I like this card more than Cross out in this deck. I think I want to bump it to three in the side deck somehow, because like whenever you resolve this card in Rescue Ace and then you set four, if you know your, all of your opponent's cards, you can interact with your traps like perfectly and you know, you'll, you'll stop them every time. So this card was just like so good in this deck. And then I sided two extra deck cards. I sided Zelantis and Raging Phoenix. Um, going second, you just take out the M7 and the Necroquip because it doesn't come up as much going second. And then you put in these and these, game, these cards are still games and that's what I'm trying to do. So that's the deck. Uh, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. Shout outs to Lou for winning the regional. Shout out to Goo Gaming. Shout out to Card Monster Games. Shout out to the side deck. Um, and yeah, thanks, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.